Steve, was it better than you thought, worse than you thought, more challenging than you thought? I found it to be liberating, is the way I would describe it, because it's, uh, you, could, you could kind of talk to Steve about something very big, and uh, if it resonated with him, he would just say, okay, and it, it, you could do it. And so it was like a, you know, like a total revelation for me that a company could run like this, uh, because I was used to these layers and bureaucracy and studies and you know, studying things, uh, sort of the paralysis that companies can get into. And uh, Apple was totally different than that. And I realized that if I couldn't get something done, I could just go to the nearest mirror and look at it, and that was the reason. Steve's um, health was such that he couldn't continue to be the CEO. He told the board that. And you were announced as the CEO, I think around July of 2011, something around there. When you became the CEO, um, did you feel you had, uh, that Steve would say, here's what I was interested in doing and you fulfill my uh, goals? Or did you feel you had your own view on what you should do? And how did you balance the two? You're, you're succeeding uh, a legendary it's, figure. It's not so sequential as that. Uh, we have a really open company and so uh, most of us could finish the other person's sentences even when we might disagree with them. And so it wasn't a matter of, of Steve having this secret file or something. He was always sharing his ideas uh, all the time. And so, so uh, it was very different than that. Okay. And I, I thought, honestly, my, my thought at that time, and I know people have told me you, you're, you're just not very smart, uh, but my view at that time was he was going to be chairman and he would do that forever. And that uh, we would figure out the, uh, you know, the, the, the sort of the relationship uh, change there. And that's what I thought. And it, um, you know, unfortunately it didn't turn out that well. <laughs>